Hi everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Becky Sitcher. I hope you're doing well. I'm a UK registered nurse and I give tips and advice to overseas nurses or international nurses living and working in the UK and those overseas who are still considering migrating to come and work in the UK. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about a case where a band five NHS nurse has been suspended for taking paracetamol at work. So if this is the first time you've come across my channel, you're very welcome. Please remember to like, subscribe and share as well. I share very educational information that would help you as a nurse whilst you're working in the UK. So we're going to go straight into the main video. You're welcome back to the main video. So this is a misconduct case about a band five nurse working in the NHS who has been suspended for taking paracetamol, which does not belong to her at work. So let's look straight at the charges. There were three charges. The first charge is the fact that she took paracetamol belonging to the hospital where she's working. Um, this paracetamol was taken on two occasions. So it's not just one episode. There have been two episodes of her taking paracetamol at work. Um, and the other charge was the fact that she took lactulose, which those of you who don't know, lactulose is a laxative. So she was seen pouring lactulose in those paper little cups that we use to dish out medication to patients. So she was seen pouring and consuming uh, lactulose. The, according to the story, there has been unaccounted for medications uh, from the medication room or the stock room or cupboard. Therefore, a CCTV camera was installed in that room. And unfortunately, this nurse, the footage that has been um, obtained showed this nurse, as I said, taking paracetamol with water, another time putting paracetamol in her pocket, and the third time, as I said, she was seen pouring lactulose and consuming. Um, and when she was questioned, she denied it in the first instance, and, um, and she said she was putting the paracetamol in her pocket in order to give to a patient. She also denied orally consuming lactulose but when she was shown the cctv camera footage she accepted the charges and she did say that she thought it was a known thing that if a nurse is having a um, headache they can take paracetamol at work she was then subsequently convicted of theft of paracetamol which does not belong or medication without permission so she was given um, a caution. No, she was actually convicted of theft and given a conditional discharge for taking paracetamol without permission. So those of you who are not aware, please bear in mind, it is against hospital policy for a nurse to take paracetamol from the medication cupboard or the drop trolley to take because you're having a headache. It is not for personal use. So if you don't know about that. So, uh, finally, her actions, according to the NMC deliberations in the case, her actions were, was dishonest. And she, as she did not have permission to take paracetamol from the hospital um, cupboard or tro drug trolley, in light of her actions, her fitness to practice has been deemed impaired by reason of misconduct therefore a suspension order of six months was imposed so what is the learning out of this case please my dear sisters who are nurses it is quite hard um, and at the same time yes you could go to work and you could be having a headache and you'll be wondering whether you can take medication from the medication cupboard the answer is no um, the medication in the medication cupboard or drug trolley belongs to the trust, not for you, for your personal use. If you do need paracetamol, ask your colleagues if they've got paracetamol in their bags. That is what I do. I make sure 
I buy my own paracetamol, which is about a pound or under two pounds. So just buy paracetamol if you have, you know that you can have some pain here and there or whether you're having pain here and there or any of us can have a headache at any point in time. Keep paracetamol on you, keep ibuprofen or whatever you can, but no medications that can cause you to become drowsy because those are not susceptible at work because it can influence your work. So please, 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 if you're a foreign nurse, you're working in the UK, if this is something, this case is not about foreignness, so please don't misunderstand me, but this is my advice to my fellow nurses. If you're going to work, please just keep your own paracetamol in your bag. If you are to work and you don't feel very well and you feel you might need a stronger painkiller, then you shouldn't be at work. Ask permission and go home and take something and sleep. Um, or just go off sick. If you don't feel well and you paracetamol is not enough, just phone and say you don't feel very well and buy or take whatever you can take at home. So please, um, this is just for learning purposes. I hope you found it helpful. Please remember to like, subscribe and share and take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.